Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal, and I am here with my good friend, Greg Miller. Greg and I co-founded the Expedition 7 project, where we took the same Land Cruiser 70 series to all seven continents. As a result of that expedition and Greg's learning as a lifetime Land Cruiser owner, he built this interesting vehicle behind us. What do we got, Greg? Well, this vehicle began as a 2021 200 Series Heritage Edition in Blizzard White Pearl. We sent it over to Maltec in Germany and they cut the uh, body behind the B pillar and discarded that and replaced it with this really tidy little sleeping cabin. And then once we got it back from Germany, we sent it over to Kurt Williams at Cruiser Outfitters. He and his crew did a great job at modifying the suspension, putting the rock sliders on, front bumper, lights, and uh, a winch and a few other goodies like that. It's a mashup of a lot of companies that are very well respected. They have a real passion for off-roading, but I find that they kind of have a particular focus on Land Cruisers. And so it's really neat to actually have the finished product behind me. It's, it's something that I'd been dreaming of for probably five years now. And uh, to actually have the finished product available to, to go exploring in is, it's a big day. So we've got one of the most rare Land Cruisers to begin with, with the Heritage Edition. Try to find one of those new with just a few miles on it. But then we've got this camper conversion, this E7-200M, that is gonna be only one of seven behind us. One for each of the seven continents. It is very rare to see a vehicle of this quality, and it's very rare to see a vehicle of this capability and this comfort come together in a single package. So Greg, why a 200 series Land Cruiser? For me, the, the foundational thing was to have a platform that was legal in the United States. Obviously, I, I have a deep affinity for Land Cruisers, so the 200 series uh, US Spec Cruiser was an obvious choice for me. So what made you choose the Maltec camper? What about it inspired you to go with that choice? My kids are all grown now, so when I travel, it's usually me by myself, or occasionally my wife will join me. So there's only two of us that would ever be in this car. And the ability to be able to roll along US interstates at 85 miles an hour, and then if I see a, a trail or two track that I wanna go explore, have the capability to do that. Uh, in a tight package like this little Maltec camper here is perfect. It, it gives me a roughly a queen size bed. It gives me a two top table and enough room to store a reasonable amount of gear. None of these modifications compromise the OEM performance of the Land Cruiser. So we both have a lot of love for Kurt Williams and Cruiser Outfitters. We've traveled with them big chunks of the world together. What made you choose Cruiser Outfitters to do the vehicle modifications to this Land Cruiser? Really, there was no other consideration for me other than Cruiser Outfitters to have all these modifications done. I've known Kurt for I don't know, 15 years now, maybe longer. He's done a lot of work for me on a lot of vehicles and there's never been a problem with any of it. Kurt knows as much as anybody I've ever met about Land Cruisers and you know what happens when you start modifying them. Um, he's seen it all. He's the perfect complement to a project like this because of his experience and his commitment to quality. So, Greg, you've had a chance to drive this Land Cruiser a little bit off-road. How's it performing for you so far? The thing that I've been most impressed with about this setup is the departure angle. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but um, when we had it off-road a little earlier, I was really concerned that it was going to bump as we were going through some of those ditches, and it didn't. Uh, the, the back tire hung up just a little bit, but the cabin uh, never came close to rubbing. And so that's impressive from an off-road standpoint. Of course, on-road, it's just the ability to to roll down U.S. interstates at 85 miles an hour. You can't beat that. So now that you've got this Land Cruiser built, not only for people to purchase, but for you to own yourself, where do you want to take this thing? I think on a smaller scale, I'll probably stay a little closer to home. Some of the sites down in Southern Utah, 
I've thought about maybe Rocky Mountain National Park over in, in Colorado. But I also spend a fair amount of time thinking about what the next leg of Expedition 7 may look like. One of the things about these vehicles that I think is worth mentioning is that when we decided how we were going to outfit them, if things ever align and we're able to do a second lap of Expedition 7, these vehicles would be a natural choice the way they're configured. And one of the things I've learned from you, Scott, is that most of the time less is more. And so these, these vehicles, as well appointed as they are, they're really intended to be kind of a minimalist, well-appointed vehicle, if that makes sense. They're outfitted with anything I felt would be appropriate to make a trip down to Ushuaia, Tierra del Fuego. It was important to me to do that in a way that would allow us to do pretty much everything we did on the original Expedition 7 journey. But this time we, we would just be in a 200 series, which is obviously more comfortable, has a little better performance than, than the VDJ 78s that we took on the first trip. The idea is to be able to take them around the world if and when the opportunity presents itself. Until then, just to be able to get out and have fun and, and be comfortable a little closer to home. One of the significant upsides of this truck is you can go to your insurance agent and say, this is the VIN, and you're gonna get an insurance policy on it. You can get a registration that you can take into Mexico you can bring it back across the border. For me, one of the, the most valuable aspects of this vehicle is that it's it's registered in the United States. There's not going to be any trouble getting it back into the U.S. That it's just like a brand new Land Cruiser that was purchased from a, a Toyota dealer in your hometown that's been outfitted. And uh, that's really a very comfortable aspect of this.